We encounter hundreds of chemicals every day in our food, the air, water, soil, dust, and the products we use. While many chemicals are considered harmless, some may be harmful to our health. CDC's Environmental Health Laboratory studies the chemicals in our environment to help us find out which ones may be harmful. For more than 30 years, CDC scientists have tracked what chemicals people are exposed to and how much of those chemicals get into their bodies. This type of scientific study is called biomonitoring. The information we learn from biomonitoring helps scientists plan and conduct research about the chemicals in our environment and how those chemicals might affect our health. And public health officials use biomonitoring results to make important decisions, like developing better policies, programs, and guidelines to protect our health. Biomonitoring also helps us assess the nutrition status of the U.S. population. Through biomonitoring, we can find out if Americans are getting too little, too much, or the right amount of key nutrients. Today, the biomonitoring program can reliably measure more than 300 chemicals and nearly 60 nutrition indicators in people. Our scientists use methods that can measure even very low levels of these chemicals in small amounts of people's blood and urine. The biomonitoring program works together with several other organizations, including state and local health departments. If there's an environmental emergency in your state, like a chemical spill, the biomonitoring program can provide important data to your state's health department to help state officials understand who may have been exposed to harmful substances. Shown is a map of the state biomonitoring programs in the United States. In addition to helping in emergency situations, the biomonitoring program works with other researchers and state health departments to conduct 60 to 70 exposure studies each year. These studies help us learn about the chemicals in a specific area or community and how they might affect residents' health. CDC's biomonitoring program also provides funding and support for state public health laboratories to do their own research through the State Biomonitoring Cooperative Agreement. States can use the funding to train laboratory staff, provide technical support, and conduct site visits to the laboratories. Shown is a slide that reads, National Biomonitoring Network, Association of Public Health Laboratories, State Public Health Laboratories, CDC Biomonitoring Program, and finally, the biomonitoring program is part of the National Biomonitoring Network, a network of regional, state, and local labs dedicated to high-quality biomonitoring research.